you know, some real shit. I think, I don't know if Queens would have saw my video. I don't, he might have nothing better to do. I don't know. But it's like, I'm going to include receipts. Last time he was online, bro, was when he was talking that rah-rah racist shit. And Quiet Room. Quiet Room, they done been ghosts for a few days now, too. And uh, I think I think that's good. I think maybe Queen Slip's like, okay, let me think about what the fuck I said. Hopefully you don't say no dumb shit like that again. I, I want to fuck with Queen Slip. You know what I'm saying? I, I would like to be able to sub to his channel. When you do shit like that, bro, I really can't. I don't mean no harm or no disrespect by it. I just mean to keep shit in the right way, in the right frame of mind, in the right you know line of the way it's supposed to go. And you're not going to come up here doing all that flip the racism type shit. Hell no. No, we need to eliminate the racism. We need to change people's mind. Here's the thing. We should never infringe on the, the freedom of speech, right? As much as I disagree with it, as much as all these people who watch my channel probably disagree with it, at the same time, I want to hear a black dude who interview KKK members say, look, if they can spew that racist shit, and that's protected under the First Amendment. That means anything I say as a journalist is protected under the First Amendment. Because nothing I say is going to be as extreme as what them motherfuckers in the white sheets is saying. You know what I'm saying? So, I think at the same time, without modifying the Constitution, we just need to change people's mindset. Again, everyone understands it's not equity, it's equality. Everybody equal, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I could die, you could die. It is what it is. That don't discriminate. Watch it, anyone who will lie. Be. And what's funny to me is someone who was so old, like so concerned that this was some racist shit towards black people, or I don't know if that's what you thought, Queens Flip, but for you to come back with some type of shit like that, put it like this. The only people in my life who I know who was racist personally, it was two people. One got kidnapped by a black, bunch of black dudes in Puerto Rico. They sh He got shot in the process of escaping. He was not black. So... He has a Hispanic dude from Puerto Rico because of that incident that happened when he was very young, was very racist towards black people. And then the other person I knew, he, he was my boy's stepdad, and it was just, he was like raised around racist shit. So it's like, either you taught to be like that or something happened to you to make you like that. You know what I'm saying? There's no real reason to be like that. But sometimes people's minds, I guess, for whatever reason, work like that. I can't understand it firsthand. But I guess that's how it is with some people. Like I said, I've only known two people in my life who was really like that. And both had sort of a reason that they was like that. Whether, put it like this, I don't think no one should teach their kids to be racist. But that's why. Because that dude is racist for the rest of his life because of it. You see what I'm saying? It's a teachable moment. It's a teachable moment. If I really scared you up off here for a minute, it's a teachable moment. Because, like, we we not as, as you know what I'm saying, as people, we not, man, shit, shit don't discriminate the way people like to make a thing. They make it, like to make a thing like, no white motherfucker ever going to go through poverty. That is not the case at all. Look where I'm at, in a fucking staircase, and this shit that's a Section 8 project. You feel what I'm saying? Don't, don't ever try to do that shit again, please. I'd like you to even come out and you know do a video about Gilly shit. If you was, because like I said, if you was 
reactive like that because you felt it was some shit that was an attack against the black community. I understand. So do a video about some real shit that was an attack involving the black community. Like I did with Gilly and all that. Do that. But now you don't want to do nothing about that, huh? The same day, same incident, you want to talk about some shit that fed only white people and throw some racist shit on it and some Hispanics, excuse me. You see what I'm saying? That's, isn't that weird to you, Queenslip? Hopefully, hopefully you, you got it, you get it. I think Quiet Room, man, I don't know if that's you or someone that sponsors you, but whatever the case is, I think y'all got it because, you know, I'm saying, look at the activity. Be easy. JD on this motherfucker, y'all know this shit, bro. Huh? Yeah. What is it? Huh? Taliban. It's the Taliban. Hopping out the van. Cross and kill the jam. Taliban. Move like the Taliban. In them caravans. We gon' let it blame Taliban, Taliban Running around like sun and sand Bitch, I got a hundred grand Run up on him, we gon' rob him If you still want the beef, then we got more options If you want this gat, you gon' meet your demise I aim for your head in the whites of your eyes Bitch, don't even try I can see you fake, see through your disguise I know that you be lying and you rapping about them lies You ain't never had to do no type of fucking time So don't rap that Davies to me, you out of line